Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon White 2 Unlock. In the last episode, we did just a couple of things, but one very important thing we did is we did get Liverpool to evolve into a Gigalith. Yes, so now we have some real power on our team. Pretty good stats, not good special defense, not good speed, of course. Um, we got sturdy, though, and just great attack. Attack and defense ma um, are the same. And, you know, I just realized that Chernobyl has very good HP. Anyway, we're making our way along here. Let's see, I have Oaxaca up front. We're gonna go ahead and take on Team Plasma, because we have uh, Spock over here. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do with Spock, what I've been trying to do was have him talk like Spock, but no, that won't be good. I'm just gonna have him say all of his lines in total monotone. Hold it. What are you guys up to here anyway? Nothing. We we're just standing here. So what did we do to so what did we do to you that you're bothering us with questions? You didn't do anything, not to me at least. But I can never forgive Pokémon thieves like you. Just to let you know, you're about to feel my rage. Ah. Uh, yeesh. Trainers are such unruly, sure are unruly these days. Apparently, uh, I can't read today. Leia, cover me. Wow. All right, so like, if any of you guys ever watched Lil Karibo's Naruto spoof, abridged something, whatever he calls it, um, the voice he does for Sasuke, that's kind of what I was channeling there. Just sort of total, total monotone. Not quite Spock, but... It's still a fun little play on, because uh, the rival character is so unruly, as the Team Plasma grunt said. Okay, so we don't have a great matchup here. We're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna try Chernobyl. I think Chernobyl can do well. We can resist Trubbish's stab, of course. We can't get poisoned by it. And we can use Dig, which should be pretty good. Let's see. It's gonna go for takedown. We can eat it can eat a lot of those and we got leftovers because yes now we can use health items which is awesome we're gonna go ahead and dig you're gonna go for the sludge that should do even less yeah and you can't even poison me so have fun with that all right it's a one shot well not quite a one shot I mean it, it might have still one shot anyway but you know it had recoil damage that's right, Paris has the, whatchamacallit, the experience share. Now, what do I want? Do I want to try... Hidden Power is my only damaging attack right now, so I have to hold on to that. Charm, Light Screen, what does Snatch do again? Uh, steals the effects of any healing or stat changing move. That requires an awful lot of prediction, and most Pokemon, even though Challenge Mode the trainers kind of strategize a little bit better than most typical Pokemon games. I don't think I'm ever gonna run into a situation where I think it's worthwhile using Snatch. So I can use my own healing move, Recover, instead. I think that's a good choice. I need to get Paris another attacking move, though. Confusion or Psybeam or something. I'm not sure about Solosis' moveset, but anyway. You've got to be kidding! And I bullied it so much over the last two years to toughen it up, too, because that's how it works. Alright, we gotta fight another one. Looks like I'm up next. Just to warn you, I show no mercy. Neither do I. Neither do I. Alright. Got a Watchog. Oh, Mesa. Too bad we can't do Watchog on Watchog here, but... I think Oaxaca can probably take this guy on. We're gonna go ahead and... I gave you the Miracle Seed. I think Razor Leaf will do more by a little bit. Let's see. That did about half. Let's go ahead and Bug Bite for 100% accuracy. Also got Slash, which we got in the last episode. So, um, Oaxaca hitting super hard. Not super hard, but pretty darn hard for a bug. If we keep going like this, it'll end up like it did two years ago. 
We give up. I can't believe we lost to two kids. Just because you're strong, I'll tell you this. We, Team Plasma, are searching for something. When we find it, that's when our secret weapon will be able to use its true power. Farewell. Well, that was rather cryptic. But uh, I think we could have gathered that already, that you're looking for something and you want something. Five years ago, Team Plasma stole my little sister's purloin. It had been given to her as a present. I was only a little kid. I couldn't do anything. So, so that's why I have to get stronger. Ah, good work. I knew you had good instincts. Well then. Oh, well thank you, Spock. Listen up, you fill up that Pokedex. Keep getting stronger and stronger, and back me up. I'll be counting on you from here on out, too. Well, uh, sorry, I can't really fill out the Pokedex here. We are limited in our, uh, Nuzlocke rules here. Okay, so I feel like I want to go training in those stadiums, but I don't want to spend another episode on doing completely unproductive stuff. Not that yet, not the last episode was completely unproductive, but we didn't get anywhere plot-wise. We got made a little bit of plot progress. I'm just going to come back here when it's time to do some grinding before the gym. Um, but for now, let's go west, young trainer. Toward, what is it, Driftvale? I believe it's Driftvale. Okay, so we haven't fought this breeder yet. At least I think she battles. Let's try it. Oh no, she wants me to buy berries. What do pomic berries do again? I don't know. I'm gonna say no. I mean, it's only 200. I could probably afford that no problem. We already got our encounter here. I believe this was where we got Paris. But let's go fight this guy. I think he's an artist. This is his trainer class. Let's find out. Yep, he's an artist. Artist Horton. Do you hear a who over there? Oh, Sigilith. Oh, Sigilith. We are four times weak to flying, so we're not going to stay in here. Sigilith is annoying. It's also a special attacker, too, so we might not even be safe with Liverpool, but I still think he's our best bet. So we're going to go for him. It's probably going to use Psybeam, but at least we have Sturdy, so we know we can scout out at least one hit. We're going to go Air Cutter. That's barely going to do anything, so I think we could probably live a Psybeam from this guy, I hope. Let's go for Rock Slide, because it's pretty much the only choice. We're faster than it. It's probably going for Whirlwind. Oh well, that was your mistake, because you allowed me to take you out. Yeah, it had to be Whirlwind. There was no way it would be slower than me. Ooh, you want to learn Psy Shock. Finally, an attacking move. I mean, we have Hidden Power. I kind of want to find out what it is and what the power... I don't think it's a very strong Hidden Power, but I think I might want to hold on to it just as another offensive option. We're going to go ahead... And get rid of Charm, I guess. I probably won't use Charm that much. My style, I tend to go more all-out offensive. Although, as we saw in the previous gym battle, I was able to use that competitive battle strategy with entry hazards to totally derail Elisa's heavy switching strategy or whatever. Alright, so yeah, we've got like that biker dude over there. I think we have to fight him too in a... Triple battle or rotation battle? I think it's optional, though. I don't know. We're going to see if we can get by, but first we're going to finish battling. I think this ranger is the last trainer on this stretch. Up here, that is. We'll go on the lower path after this. We got a Badu. I don't have anything super effective. Yeah, I don't have anything super effective from Oaxaca here, but we can try out Slash for the first time. See what this does. Almost a one-hit KO. That was stun score. Yeah, right, it's only in 6th uh, gen that grass Pokemon are immune to spore-type attacks. And Worry Seed. Got Insomnia. That's not, that's not too bad of a problem. I mean, as long as you're not counting on having to use rest or whatever, not being able to be put to sleep is not too bad. I could test out Paris here, but since she's still pretty new, I'm going to let her gain a couple more levels. She's still a little bit behind in levels. 
Meanwhile, New York has not had the chance to battle, and she has a little bit of catching up to do herself. So we're gonna go for an air cutter, see how much damage we can do here. Alright, pretty good. You're gonna leech seed, so that I think stops air cutter from being a two-hit KO, unfortunately. But we're gonna go for it again anyway. We might get a crit. I think this is a high crit ratio move, so we'll see. If not, we can... Oh, okay, we did get a crit. Alright, I was gonna say, if not, we could just quick attack at the end. But there you go. And we get a cherry berry. So you can get berries from the rangers for free, we just have to defeat them in a Pokemon battle. Let's see, there's not an item here, right? Alright, so there's nothing down this way, we just have to make our way back. And, of course, we run into, sounds like a double battle. Double Chinchino, Minchino. I might keep getting the names mixed up, but yeah, Double Minchino. I don't want to hang around. Sorry, Double Mint. Double Mint Chino. Mint Cappuccino? Mint Chocolate Cappuccino? I don't know. Let's go ahead and find that Paralyze Heal. All right. Do we need to do any other healing? No, I think we're in pretty good shape, so we're ready to take on the other trainers here. Let's save this biker dude. Let's take on this guitarist. Look at him sitting there with his hippy-dippy long hair, his ripped jeans and his acoustic guitar, and those sunglasses. And he's got a Maractus. Maractus to play the rhythm section in his band. Alright, let's go ahead and bug bite. And it is a one-shot. We're almost to level 30. Let's see, okay, you only had the one Pokemon. I wasn't paying attention before. Um, oh, we're gonna get an item. It's just uh, a dress-up item or whatever, the prop case. Yeah, nice and all, but whatever. Alright, you don't have anything. You battle, okay. Because I think someone in- it's in that truck or whatever. There's someone who buys tiny mushrooms off of you. Tiny mushrooms and big mushrooms. I guess just mushrooms in general. So we're gonna check that out. I think we still have some tiny mushrooms. I don't think I sold any of mine yet. If we even got them, I might be thinking of Pokemon Y. Which I'm playing over at Team on Team Eclipse. So go check out their channel, Shameless Plug. Alright, we got a combi. We're not gonna bother staying in. We're gonna go for New York. Get New York some of that tasty experience. And here we go. That was easy. A little combi. Alright, let's go. Are you a trainer? Nope. Okay, let's see what's in here. Yes, do you have. She bought. Actually, she buys. Um. I don't think it's only mushrooms that she buys, now that I think about it. It's like... She she buys like other things that count as food, but I always had to guess which ones they were. Like, she'd just tell you if there was something in your bag that she wanted. But, yeah, okay, I'll sell that for 500. Do you have anything else? I do have something else in my bag that I can sell to her. I have to figure out what it is. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know if it's one of these items. I doubt it's one of these. Is it any of the- oh. Is it anything that's like a food type thing? Cause don't I have- what do I have, like a, a Castellia cone? Is that what you want? It smells so good. Dun, 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 dun. Will you take 2,000 for, for it? That's just for one, right? I think it's just for one. In, in which case, we've bought so many, that's not bad. Yeah, we get a pretty good return on that. I'm gonna sell one more of those. I mean, I like the Castellia cones because they're cheap, basically cheap full heals, but we can sell them for a great amount here. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Let's fight this dancer guy. Come back! 
Fight me, you fool! Turn around, and it's my turn. Turn around, and it's your turn. All right. Dancer Brian. All right, Brian. You and your scraggy. Let's see. I don't have much to be worried about from this guy, so I'm gonna go ahead. Bug Bite should do more than Slash, unless I get a crit, so let's try Bug Bite. Yeah, pretty good. And it's got payback. I don't think that I should be worried about that. I mean, that was decent, but not enough to be scary. Okay, and with that, we should hit level 30. There we go. Alright, I think I'm gonna switch and put... Unless I've got this guy to fight the... What's his name? The Heartbreaker Charles? The biker dude, basically. Oh yeah, I forgot. I do have the scope lens on New York. That's probably why she got that crit with air, air cutter. Alright, what do I got here? I got some potions still. That should suffice. Okay, I don't know if I we have to fight this guy here. Not this guy. But... Let's see. Oh, we can fight these double battle girls. I think we do have to fight Heartbreaker Charles in order to get past him. Which, that can be a little bit problematic. You don't necessarily, like in a Nuzlocke, double and triple battles are a little bit scary. Which, by the way, this is a double battle. But I think we should be okay. We have Air Cutter that I believe hits both of these two. And I don't know that there's too much. Well, I gotta be careful, actually, around... There probably won't be... Nah, they won't be, um, skill link Minchino, but I still have to be careful. But we have moves on both of our Pokémon that hit both of their Pokémon, so we should be in decent shape. Oh, got a crit on one of them. Montego is just gonna go for the one-shot all around, so I think New York can finish this guy off. This girl, excuse me. Okay, well that was, that was pretty easy. Alright, not a problem, not a problem. Okay, so I think we have to fight this guy in a triple battle. So let me see who I have in my front three. I know you can hit multiple Pokemon, you can hit- I don't want to put Paris in the crossfire just yet. I want to put Liverpool up here, because he can also- we can just like, rock slide and air cutter all the things. I think that puts us in pretty good shape. If there's a water type, then we might be in trouble. Um, let's see. You have four gym badges. You might be able to defeat Charles. Please beat him for me. All right, let's... I guess we have to. Yeah, we should be okay, I guess. I'm a heartbreaker. My name? Charles. I wanted to get the attention of a girl I like, so I mastered a new style of Pokemon battling called Triple Battle. Want to learn about it? Sure. Yeah, yeah, Charles. All right, fine. Do Triple Battle. I think we have to... I mean, pretty much triple battles and rotation battles are optional throughout, at least throughout black and white. I think in black and white 2, there are a few instances of where you have to, where you're required to do these battles. Okay, so as far as type advantages, we're in pretty good shape using rocks. I don't necessarily want to keep New York out against Arkin. Now, we do have that Tortuga to worry about, but... Montego has sturdy, Liverpool has sturdy, but um, his sturdy is kind of broken because he's not at full HP. We're gonna go ahead with Chernobyl, no, because Chernobyl's weak to, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and detect with New York and see what happens there. That'll buy us some time. I'm gonna go and rock slide everybody. Oop, no. And rock slide you two. Should be decent. Let's see what, what this does. I think we're in decent good shape. Oh! Well, that's a problem. I've never had to worry about Wide Guard before. Usually I don't use multiple hitting moves. But... Hmm. So, yeah, he's strategizing here. He is indeed strategizing. Alright, we're gonna have to... I'm most afraid of. The Sigilyph can cause me the most problems, but I can just hit everybody, I guess. 
I don't think he'll be successful with he can be successful with wide guard twice in a row. He's gonna go Aqua Jet. It's physical, so we should take it. Yeah, we took it really well. Arkin's gonna go Ancient Power, which is gonna focus on Montego. It is super effective and okay, okay, okay. Okay, I do need to get, I think I need to get Montego out of there. We are going to take out the Arkin, which is fine. That means that New York actually doesn't have a whole lot to worry about, I guess. Let's see if we can take out the Sigilyph. Mm, not quite with this Rock Slide. Okay, we took out the Sigilyph. We only have Tortuga to worry about. Basically, New York can't hit anybody at this point. Although I thought flying moves can let you go all the way across, but maybe not Air Cutter. Yeah, and Quick Attack. No. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use New York's turn to Freshwater. Yeah, Freshwater Montego. I'm gonna use Montego's turn to Lemonade Liverpool. And then Liverpool should be able to pick up the knockout with Power gem, yeah. I don't even have to, to have to risk the accuracy of Rock Slide. Okay, so we should be good now. We got our two sturdies back up at full, so yeah. And Aqua Jet's not even a concern. All right, this power gem should be plenty to take it out. All right. Okay, so it was a little bit scary, but in the end, I think we actually had a good, a good team of Pokemon up, up front. So. It wasn't too bad. Sheesh, that was embarrassing. Getting schooled when I was planning to teach. Still, you have potential. You have to understand your Pokemon to win a triple battle. Alright, we're getting out of here. I'm a heartbreaker. My name? Charles. Riding a bike and becoming the wind fits a bad boy like me. Alright, well he's gonna go off that way and I think we're just gonna continue our way... Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Does that backpacker guy want to fight? Nope, he's gone. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and cross the bridge, I guess, and then that'll be it. Oh, we can possibly get an encounter. It's pretty much guaranteed what it is. Um, do we have any status inducing Pokemon? We don't have, we don't have Mesa with us, which is usually our go-to for that. Do have the scope lens on New York, but I'm gonna take that off because I think New York would be my best bet. So basically, we have a chance to encounter a ducklet on this bridge, and I think it's our only possible encounter, so we're just gonna go and try to find it. We're gonna look for the shadow, and you know, we'll also get wings, which we can use to boost the EVs of our Pokemon, which maybe we'll use. But let's listen for shadows. Of course, that part of the drawbridge makes it hard to see. It's not there, I think it's this way. I hear it, or is that the water? Come on. I definitely hear it. Somewhere around here? Maybe it's just, maybe it's the sound of the water. I don't know. Hold on, we're gonna get this encounter. Even if it takes a while. Yeah, that should be the sound of it. Got a health wing. Can raise the PP of... Not a, the PP, the HP. One of our Pokemon. There's one. Come back. A genius wing. That is special attack, I think. Come on. There we go. Alright, we have our encounter for Driftvale Bridge. And it is, of course, a ducklet. Okay. I think I know what I want to name you. It probably won't make a, the most sense, but it'll be alright. Do we have a quick ball? Do we want to use a quick ball on this thing? I only have one quick ball, so I'm gonna say no this time. I think we should be alright with quick attack. I think we took the scope lens off of you. But even if we get a crit with this next quick attack, I think it'll be able to live it. Okay, that should be pretty much right. It's gonna feather dance us, but once again, I don't want to risk. I do not want to risk a crit, so I'm gonna go ahead and just throw the pokeball. 
Let's go for a Great Ball because it is level 26, so better chance with the Great Ball, of course. Okay, we caught the Ducklet, and I think I already know what I want to name it. It's not going to make perfect sense because it's not, in fact, a goose, but I do want to name it Ontario. Ontario, because, uh... Canadian geese. I know it's not a goose, it's a duck slash swan. But rarely do I ever come up with a name of a city that I want to use this quickly, so I'm just going to take it and run with it. Although Ontario is a very more masculine sounding name. I could name you Quebec. What's the other one I was thinking of? What's that other city? Toronto? No. I'm going to name you Quebec. Or how about Saskatchewan? I don't know off the top of my head how to spell Saskatchewan. I'm gonna name you Quebec, actually. Because it's a, a little bit... I, I, I can't see a female ducklet named Ontario. I'm pretty sure I spelled that right, yeah. Alright, I'll go check. I'll check. I'll be certain. I don't want to make the stupid mistake like Pittsburgh where I even I knew how to spell it and I still spelled it wrong. Yep, alright, that, that was easy. Okay, yeah, so Quebec. I actually wanted to name you Ontario, but since you're a female, I think Quebec sounds a little bit more feminine. Alright, let's see, is this gonna be a wing? Okay, we got another wing. Alright, now let's go ahead and run to Driftvale City. We'll heal up at the Pokemon Center, and then that'll be it for this episode. We'll use some of our wings, maybe. That was some hot wings with some blue cheese dressing. Hello. Also known as the Charizard Bridge. Yeah. Charizard, which you can't find in this region. Interesting. Alright, let's go and... Another wing? A pretty wing. Okay, that one we can just sell for a little bit of money. But money's money. Okay. Are there any trainers around here? I don't think so. So let's go ahead. Oh, hi. Come on! Let's have fun stealing Pokemon together like we did before! I can't. I've learned the hard way that stealing from others is wrong. Wow, the more you know! Oh, come on, it's too late to start acting all goody two shoes now! Dang. People don't understand our just cause! I thought what we had was special! The people who are mean to you now will be groveling at your feet and saying how great you are. You know, maybe it would help, you know, X-Team Plasma guy, maybe it would help your cause if you didn't wear the same costume that you used to wear when you were evil Team Plasma. Like, the new Team Plasma guys have a new costume, so, like, they have a clean slate to be evil with. Anyway, start talking, new Team Plasma trash. Ow! You're gonna pay for that! Oh yeah, almost forgot. I'm not supposed to cause any trouble. I'll get you next time! And your little dog, too! <laughs> You're not getting away! Uh... I'm okay. We were friends when we were both in Team Plasma. But two years ago, Team Plasma split into a group that follows Lord N, who just wants to save Pokémon, and a group that follows Getsis who plans to take over the world. Well, it'd be nice to let us in on that little secret, not that it's any surprise. All right. We're just gonna go and wherever the Pokemon Center is. Come on, let's heal, 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 and we'll do the rest in the next episode. We've got those wings, I think I'm gonna save them. Maybe we'll use them in the next episode, we'll see. But for now, we're gonna call it a day. So guys, if you liked this video, go ahead and leave a like. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, that subscribe button is right there. Go ahead and click it. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can like my page on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. The links are, of course, in the description. And don't forget to check out Team Eclipse. It's a collab channel that I'm a part of, and we do all kinds of Pokemon stuff. I'm in the middle of a Pokemon Y Wonderlock, and that's going pretty well so far, doing really well. Um, it's kind of fun. Go ahead and check it out, and that'll do it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of my Pokemon White 2 Unlock.